Well, viewers, for over centuries, the world has produced many writers who had penned down their thoughts and ideas of life, history, reality, and many others. Similarly, Closure Home, a young administrator, Haolian Lan Gwete from Manipur, has done the same thing and penned world's first philosophical novel for God, Confessions of a Dying Mind. Have a look. India's North is a region of mystic splendors and rich culture heritage has a high literacy level with linguistic diversity. And over the years, many people from the region, especially the youngsters, have taken up academics as their career and at the same time have produced impressive achievers in different fields of work. Achieving double feet in life, a young lad and an astute administrator, Howling Lal Kwiti, an IS officer from Manipur State, has become the broad author of the world's first philosophical novel for God, Confessions of a Dying Mind, The Blind Fate of Atheism. The non-fiction novel was unveiled by Union Minister Kiran Ruchiju in presence of David Simley, Chairman UPSC in August Catering at Civil Services Officers Institute in New Delhi. Administrative officer going so deep about a subject which normally we don't dare to venture about, venture into those fields, is very difficult. And especially people like us, to read something which is uh, very philosophical, yet non-fictional. It's a very unique combination. I think if you go into the deep of this book, it will leave you into certain you know, stage where you will start questioning about many things. So lots of questions will emerge out of this book. It's very interesting. Graduated in philosophy from St. Stephen's College, Delhi University, and postgraduate from Jawaharlal Nehru University, Kuide's book built as the world's first philosophical novel for God and is arguably the first Indian civil servant to write on philosophy since John Stewart Mill published on Liberty Way Pack in 1858. The book explores the nature of science, religion, evidence, and even love in light of leading developments. It makes use of the latest findings of modern science and the most solid theories in philosophy. One was out of sheer this thing, just thinking, letting out whatever comes, uh, whatever was inside, because I've been thinking about these issues for such a long time. And second thing was, you know, have well, it's to bust stress also because the stress of work and daily life, those things are much. And when I do philosophy, I feel calm. So I decided to put it in words and hope that it will benefit humanity somehow. An orator and an originator, Howling La Kuite cleared the Union Public Service Commission examination by securing All India Rank 33 in 2011. This young officer achieved such a rare feat by synergizing his academic studies and philosophies and projected his thoughts and ideas in the form of a novel. It is not often that a young officer has the time admits all the works they do to put pen and paper together and publish a novel. Kuiti's achievements will surely impact youngsters, especially from the Nordic region, and inspire them to take life's challenges as a stepping stone to success. Such inspiration and motivation indeed will go a long way and benefit many.